America's best kept secret, more than 560 federally designated national wildlife refuges across the United States. Hello, welcome to the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. The wonderful world of Ding, known for its 8,000 acres of wetlands, bay islands, and mangrove habitat, home to some 250 species of birds and a vast variety of mammals, reptiles, fish, and beautiful butterflies. So let's go find your wild place here at Ding. Your visit begins right here in the Visitor and Education Center. Hands-on exhibits introduce you to the animals who live at the refuge. Go ahead, lift a manatee's bone, touch an alligator's tooth. At Ding Darling through wildlife protection and wisely managing land and water. Support for research, educational programs, and hands-on exhibits at the refuge comes from the Ding Darling Wildlife Society, our wonderful friends group, through donations and nature store proceeds. We love the kids' books and games at the gift shop. The volunteers at the front desk were great. They helped us plan out a visit for our family that was excellent. Our wildlife refuges provide protection and conservation for wildlife and their habitats. I mean, we also provide opportunities for people to enjoy nature, but here, wildlife comes first because this is their home. On your way out, stop at the reception desk for maps, information about tours, and even loaner binoculars if you need them. Our volunteers will explain that the refuge has three main areas to explore. Let's go see what we can find in the refuge. Outside these doors, your journey begins. Don't forget to check the recent sightings board outside to see what you might spot today. Roseate spoonbills, reddish egrets, bald eagles, alligators, manatees, turtles, bobcats, river otters, mangrove tree crabs. And it's a different adventure every time you visit the refuge, depending on the tides, the season, and your mood. You may want to take a walk to the Wildlife and Education Boardwalk from the Visitor and Education Center. Who did that? Wow, cool. Ew, gross. This is one of our refuge creature scat boxes. Kids love them. Fun and learning through animal poop. Or you can travel along the Wildlife Drive, explore the trails into the mangroves, and look for wildlife in wetlands. You never know what you're going to see. The view from the top of this tower is awesome. And this one guy, he caught this enormous fish. Nearly a million people visit Ding Darling each year, but wildlife does come first here, so please remember that we are visitors to their home a place where they can live wild and free. Never touch or feed wild animals or do anything to change their natural behavior. Keep a safe distance. Keep the refuge clean and respect all signs. Wow, that gator's huge. I looked through a scope and watched reddish egrets chasing fish. So cool. Other tips, prepare for Florida weather with sunscreen, insect repellent, and plenty of drinking water. In the winter season, traffic on the Wildlife Drive and Sanibel Island can be very busy. It's a good time to park your car and walk or bike the refuge. Please remember your helmet when riding bicycles. Or take the informative tram tour around the drive, guided by a trained naturalist. The Refuge offers free programs in the winter and summer if you want to learn more about the wildlife species and where they live.
Only three miles away, trails at the Bailey Tract give hikers and bikers a feel that they've left civilization behind, just steps off Tarpon Bay Road. Along the same road, visit our Tarpon Bay Recreation Area and get out on the water. We kayaked through this amazing mangrove tunnel. We watched birds flock into Bruce for the evening. Begin your journey today, but come back tomorrow for a completely different experience. Thank you for visiting the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge, where every day is a new adventure. and you'll get the scoop. Let's go on a walk and learn about poop. It starts with the S and ends with the T. It comes out of you. And it comes out of me. I know what you're thinking. But don't call it that. At the Wildlife Refuge, we use the word scat. Here's our first panel. That's where we'll start. The bobcat surprised. He expected a fart. Gators and rabbits and all kinds of birds. Here at Ding Darwin, there are plenty of turds. So come see our boardwalk. And get educated. You'll know that our creatures are not constipated. And when you come over, don't get confused. There's a place you can go for humans to use. 